Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D text build-up animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of text. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080. Frame rate you can pick 30 or 25, whatever you want and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now here we have our composition so first we'll add a background so right click new let's add a solid and i'm going to quickly change its color to something like a yellow sort of background something like this just click on ok here we have our pg and now we are going to create another composition for our text now let's create a new composition let's call it text and rest of the things will remain same just click on ok now inside the text composition let's select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want i'm going to type hello and for the font i'm going to use the chuck font which is this one but it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want so let's select this press s to scale this up something like that now i'm going to place it in the middle of this composition using the align panel if you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it so after that you can play around with its scale and we can do that later on as well so let's go back to the main composition and let's drag our text over here something like that perfect now i'm going to select this and we are going to apply drop shadow to this so let's go to the effects and let's search for drop shadow and let's drag it over here now just play around with the distance and amount however you want so i'm going to keep it something like that yeah this looks good and now we are ready to split this text so first i'm going to make this 3d by clicking on this icon something like that now you can select this layer and we can press ctrl d like bunch of different times uh, let's press ctrl d like 10 times now you can select one of the layers Let's select the top layer and you can go to the shape tool. Let's select the rectangle tool. Now make sure the layer is selected and you can just simply create a random mask. So just select and just drag whatever point you want like that. Perfect. Now you can select the second layer and you can just simply drag and just select a random point. We basically want to cut out all of these, all of these letters into individual areas. So let's pick one of this and let's select the this one and i'm going to probably pick one of this area okay, you can see that now we still have some areas which are left which we can fill now so let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to just select the mask by simply double clicking on it now you can just move it wherever you see all of these gaps so i'm going to just place one over here now i can select this press ctrl d again let's select this double click on the mask and we have a gap over here just place it over there so now you can see that we have covered all the gaps and our letter uh, and our full text is visible perfect so now we can select all of these layers and we can press p for position now let's go to somewhere around two or four seconds let's add a keyframe for their position now let's go to the very beginning so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and all exclusive templates that are available only on patreon make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue and we can start animating them so we basically want these to like go out of the camera but for that we need a camera in our scene so let's go to layer new let's add a camera i'm going to select the 35 mm just click on ok now we can select the text layer and you can play around with the z position which is this one so if i move it like that you can see that our text is like flowing out of the camera so let's just move it like completely out of this frame like that now we can select the second layer and let's just do it in a similar way but depending upon different sizes you might have to like extend a couple of these a little bit more so let's just place it over here now we have animated all of this and if i press play you can see that all of these pieces are like coming together and just forming the letter now we can make this animation a lot better by simply selecting all of these and then you can press f9 to ease them now let's go to the graph editor 
and if your graph looks different make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph and i'm going to select these endpoints and i'm going to just quickly make it look something like that so all of these are like coming in really fast like this and after that these slow down perfect so now in order to make this like a little bit more impressive we can do one more thing let's create a new null object so make sure that the panel is selected let's go to new and let's add a null object now i'm going to select all of these text layers and i'm going to just simply parent it to the null like that now we can animate the null as well so let's select this and i'm going to make it 3d first let's press r and i'm going to rotate its let's say the z property like this so let's add a keyframe so in the beginning we can just simply set this to something like negative 90 and as we are moving i can set this to zero like this now we probably have to like make changes to some of these pieces so we can probably move it like further apart perfect now we have this now i'm going to select these keyframes press f9 so if i play you can see that all of these layers are coming and we have this animation again we can play with the curve and let's make the curve to look something like that there you go now we have these characters coming in now the next thing is that we don't want all of these to like come in all together so we can just simply select a couple of these pieces and just randomly move them here and there like that so if i press play you can see that all of these pieces are like coming in very randomly and maybe like these are like too much further apart there you go now you can see that we have all of these pieces coming in together now we can select all of them and let's pick a couple of these points which are like really far we can just make them closer so that we have all of these pieces like aligned with each other there you go something like that now once we are done with this we want our final text to be visible so let's click pick one of these and press ctrl d to duplicate it and on this one we are going to remove all the keyframes so let's remove the position keyframe and i'm going to select this and let's press m for mask and i'm going to delete the mask as well so let's press delete so here we have our final text and i'm going to just cut it out so that it's not visible in the beginning and i'm going to select the null object and we are going to rotate its axis so let's press r and over here we have the x-axis which is what we are going to animate so let's click over here and let's go somewhere around here and i'm going to just rotate it like this so that this revolves and let's set this to negative 180 so that our text revolves and it goes like this and we have this text over here and on this one i'm going to press r and i'm going to just rotate it to the opposite side so that this is like straight so i'm going to set this to 180 degree and this is our full text and you can see that as we have all of these coming in together now as it starts rotating at some point somewhere around here we can just make our new text appear and we can select all of these layers which are down below and we can just trim them out so you can press hold on the alt key and press the right square bracket like this to trim all of these layers perfect so now if i select these keyframes and we can press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor and i'm going to change the graph to look something like that now if i press play you can see that we have all of these characters coming in and here you can see we have flipped the text now you will see some of these lines which you can fix them by simply just moving it over here like that here you can see we have created our text build up and you can see that it flips to reveal our final text something like that now you will notice that some of these lines will appear and disappear because all of these are in 3d so you can basically fix them by simply selecting those parts so which we have over here so let's select this one and i can just simply like a little bit ahead so that it appears and it does not disappear like that 
and in the same way you can do it over here as well now we can enhance this more by simply adding this texture now i'll put a link in the description from where you can download this texture footage so let's place it on top of everything now i'm going to press s to scale this up so let's pump this up like that now we can go to the mode and you can change this to screen like that now in order to enhance this more you can search for curves let's drag it onto this and uh, let's add a little bit of contrast to this like that so here you can see we have this textured sort of look perfect now i'm going to select this press ctrl d so that we want this to like keep on going let's trace it over here as well now there's one more thing you can play around with the modes over here as well so instead of screen you can just lighten it up or we can also go and look for multiply well i think this is too dark let's play around with the overlay so you can see that we have this overlay sort of look this is also looking nice or you can go with the lighter look so i think for this one we can use the screen only perfect now this one more thing that you can do in order to give this a stop motion kind of vibe we can create an adjustment layer so go to layer new let's add an adjustment layer and on this one let's apply an effect called posturize time and let's drag it onto this and i'm going to just place it below the texture layer and i'm going to set the frame rate to something like 12 and now if i press play you can see that we have all of these characters coming in and we have the stop motion kind of vibe and after that it revolves and reveals our final text perfect now the best thing about this example is that we can just go inside this and you can just change the text to whatever you want and you can go back to the main comp and you can see that all of these texts have already applied the animation and you can see that here we have the final result perfect so this is how you can create these kind of text build up animation and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.